Good afternoon. This is Dr. David Cortell from Cortell Chiropractic, and I'm giving this YouTube update on March 25th, Wednesday, 2020, on uh, the coronavirus and the status of health and the status of the office, my office in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Um, first off, I've had several people reach out to me about the office closure and what's occurring um, locally here with the virus, particularly associated with some people that presented to Jupiter Medical Center recently from the Honda Classic. We have a lot of patients and a lot of people locally that, that have been to the Honda. Um, the uh, people that got tested positive at the Honda um, were uh, um, probably exposed a couple of weeks ago. What we're seeing today is anybody testing positive now had their tests done seven or eight days ago, so somewhere between March 15th and 18th, those people began to see symptoms probably around March 10th, 12th, 15th, and the average person is seeing symptoms occur somewhere between five and 12 days after exposure. So the numbers that we're seeing today that are being reported on the news today are somewhere around two weeks behind. Uh, what we're looking at is a significant increase in number of people that we're gonna see diagnosed recently. Um, the real numbers of people that are infected now are much higher than what we're seeing on TV uh, because we're not able to yet do any fast testing or any mass testing. There's no way to have a, an accurate number of infected individuals. What I will be able to tell you is uh, I have um, uh, some close people that work at local area hospitals, in particular Good Sam, has been gearing up all week. They have several patients on respirators now. Um, the hospitals have been clearing out patients, getting ready for a significant influx in new patients coming in. Um, in addition, there have been multiple uh, reports about people fleeing New York um, and coming down to South Florida, and they're coming off the plane, and they're going out shopping and doing things. Um, if you are able to self-isolate, it's best to do that. Um, we expect to see an exponential increase in number of cases over the next several weeks. Um, as I said before, the median incubation period is five days, and uh, greater than 95% of people will see symptoms um, within 12 days if you've been exposed and you've actually caught the virus. Um, at this point, we are all likely going to catch the virus. There's very uh, little doubt that we'll all be exposed and be caught, but it's very important not to get sick during this peak increase period now. We don't wanna overburden the hospitals. We don't wanna to have to go to a hospital during this outbreak period, and uh, we don't wanna have uh, one of us um, get sick and have a hard time breathing and then go to a hospital and there's no uh, um, uh, equipment available for us to, to get better. There are no ventilators there. Um, we want to make sure that we stay as healthy as we can for as long as we can. Um, and even if you're not in the high risk pool, you want to try to minimize passing it on to a friend or loved one who may be older or may be immunocompromised. It is important now to self-isolate. Um, additionally, uh, I've had many people reaching out to me of what can I take, what shouldn't I take. Um, I'll be posting some things in the future about this, but right now I'm advising to avoid any non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Uh, there have been some email and uh, um, Facebook posts about they're good, they're bad. Uh, what we do know about anti-inflammatories, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, is that they um, do suppress the immune system and they cause the kidneys have to work extra, two things that you do not want to have to burden your body with during a time of an infection. Uh, so if you can, avoid the non steroidal anti-inflammatories. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this, and uh, stay tuned. I'll have another post.